Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'll be taking you through the installation of a fourth belted seat in this Volkswagen Craft conversion. We'll be using the Agouti folding seat that we plan to store in a box seat when not in use. Now it's really important when you're fitting an additional seat to your van conversion that you meet the specific requirements for your local area so that if the vehicle is involved in a crash, the seat has been installed correctly to deal with that. It should also be a seat that has been tested to the specific requirements and has the certification to prove it has done these tests. What we've looked at is the government website's recommendation for the uh, seat installation with the use of spreader plates under the vehicle. And what I'll do now is I'll show you where this document is held and what guidelines it gives. So you can see I've gone onto Google and I've typed in guide to changes to seatbelt regulations. And on the government website, you can see this installation publication here. We want to scroll down to page nine, which is specific to panel van conversions, specific requirements for M2 panel van conversions. And the vehicle isn't fitted with an overflow reinforcement. It is fitted with underflow reinforcement, i.e. load spreading plates, washers and steel sections under the vehicle. For single seats, you can see this paragraph here. It recommends that these plates need to be a minimum of 75 millimeters by 75 millimeters by four millimeters in mild steel. So we've gone a bit, bit bigger than that. We've gone with a six mil spreader plate under the vehicle. And we've also captured the uh, chassis member uh, that runs from the front to the back of the van. Uh, if you read on, it talks about the additional requirements if it's a double seat that's been installed and specifically recommends that channel sections should be used. Uh, again, these dimensions are given at 76 millimeters by 38 millimeters by five millimeters with the flanges facing downwards. So yeah, if you're going to be installing any additional seats into your van conversion, just make sure that you um, research the guidelines given um, by, the, by the government uh, or by the governing body uh, in your region. This is paramount to ensure that everything is safely installed uh, should an accident occur. Let's have a look at the component parts for this installation. So here you can see the folding seat that we're going to put in. Uh, it's the Agouti folding seat and We've made the floor and these are the component parts. You can see this H base plate here, which is what they supply with these two quick release clamps. Uh, they just unscrew and screw. And then the three holes here are for the main bolts to go through the floor. Uh, to raise the H uh, base plate, we're gonna be raising on these bits of box section, which we've stitched together, uh, red oxide painted and uh, painted with hammerite. We also got this small little packer piece as well to bring the floor level underneath the uh, box sections. And then this spreader plate is gonna go underneath the van on the underside. And this little angle bit here is what captures the uh, main chassis member, uh, the box section of the chassis. Uh, it's six mil thick uh, mild steel plate that we've treated with red oxide and hammerite paint. So if I lift up the base plate, you can see I've cut the shape out of the 18 mil plywood floor and I've just used these bits of uh, CLS as, as packers. Um, this spreader plate here sits and that brings the floor level with this area here. And then the box section sits on like that. And that box section is what the actual H base plate sits on top of. So it's all metal to metal contact. And then obviously underneath the van, the bolts with the washers are gonna capture onto this spreader plate here. Uh, looking underneath, I'll show you the area we're gonna use. And you can see this space here, where you can see those three holes. And then this bit of the chassis here, is where that bit of angle captures and just grips on top of that. So it's a bit of added mechanical um, spreader plate to spread the load. So I'm just gonna apply a bead of adhesive just to bond this to the fan floor.
Just putting some more sticks or just on top just to hold the base plate securely. It's the bolts that are doing the uh, heavy work when uh, there's a crash. Obviously that's providing the protection, but just bonding the base plate onto the, uh, the packers there. And I'll do the same with the bit of metal. I'll just apply some more sealant and then bolt it all together. to help you uh, remove the seat base if you want to. You can remove it from this and then the locking bolts just hold it into place. So you can see the H, H base piece is now installed. We've sealed it on with some stick saw and the bolts are put through. Uh, underneath the van you can see them coming through. Uh, one, two, three. And there's enough excess Obviously to have a nylon nut and a washer. And then this is the spreader plate that I'm gonna lift up into position and bolt it all together. Looking underneath the van, you can see here the spreader plate that you've made out of six mil steel uh, and the three bolts and washers and nylock nuts that that hold that top piece in place just have a look now on top so this is now secured with the three bolts and we can now lift the chair onto the base plate and slide it into position and put the locking nuts down These quick release bolts just allow you to, if you do want to remove the seat, if it's not in use all the time, you can actually remove the seat from the base and you can keep the seat at home or in the garage space. Just do these up nice and tight. And yeah, if we look close, you can see the bolts here. They've obviously gone in and slid back, so now they're locked into position. Here you can see the seat in the folded position. It takes up a very small amount of space. And what we'll do is we'll build a box seat around that to hide it when it's not in use. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more van life content. I'll see you next time.